Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to a new edition of the Sports Shop 27. I'm your host, Jermaine Cota. And to my far right, I got my co-host, Kevin Johnson, KJ. And today's special guest, uh, he's the youngest uh, guest to come on the Sports Shop 27, but he's a national champion. Um, right now, he this past season, I uh, played for the South Carolina State Bulldogs, had 79 right. punts, averaged 40 yards a punt. The longest punt he had was 74 yards, and that was in the Celebration Bowl. Uh, he had two uh, punts inside the inside the 20, and he also made great tackles on special team. Uh, this guy is from South Carolina. Uh, right now, he's a freshman, to be honest, and uh, he's actually looking for some more rings to buy. You know, he needs more rings like Drake and Future, you know? So uh, we're going to get into it. Today's special guest from Wilmot High School, Dyson. I'm from Sumter High School, man. What's up, what's up? Sumter High School, I'm sorry. Sumter. Good, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, man. For, for so the people happened, that don't man. know you, Dyson, let them know where you're from and a little bit about your background. Uh, my name is Dyson Roberts. I'm from Sumter, South Carolina. I went to Sumter High School, was coached over um, Matt Paul Barnes, Matt Barnes, Coach Barnes, and Coach Breland, all those guys, Coach Jackson. Great high school we went to, top athletes, we handled business back then. So came to South Carolina State, was handling business there. So continue to keep doing that. That's what's up, man. Sir. Hey, so uh, what, what age you start playing sports and what sport was your first love? Uh, I started playing sports pretty much as soon as I could. My first love was soccer. I played soccer all the way up to high okay. school. Kept going to high school, had a dream about playing soccer past high school, ended up getting introduced to a game of football back middle school. Didn't really take it as serious until I got high school. Coaches told me I had potential, so I started taking it serious. Then I'm where I'm at now, so yeah. a little bit of hard work. Yes, you say. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So talk about coming up in something South Carolina, man. How was it for you coming up uh, in something South Carolina in the 2000s, man? Uh, I mean, it was a pretty smooth journey. I mean, I had a lot of ups and downs. Was a pretty wild kid coming up. So, had a lot of trials and tribulations. Had to go through. Had a lot of maturing I had to do. So, it's pretty interesting route to be where I'm at right now. Cool. Yeah, I know you said soccer is your first love. So, uh, who was your favorite player, man? Favorite soccer player? Cristiano Ronaldo, by far. Oh, Great soccer okay. player all the time. You're a real fan. A real FIFA <laughs> fan. Yes, sir. All right. So what position did you play in soccer? I play I bounce around from wing, right wing, left wing, striker, scoring. Okay. Man target guy type stuff. Trying to score goals, get assists, stuff like that. Which one you like the most? Uh I like striker the most. Really got get to be a target guy, trying to score the most goals, type of stuff. Get the lead past my defenders, stuff like that. Right. Showcase my talent. Okay. All right. So playing soccer kept you in shape, man. I know you long winded. You running yeah. constantly up and down hundred yard right. field. Um, making that transition um from soccer to football. Was it middle school you said? Yes, sir. Okay. What grade um did you make that transition? Uh, did you keep kept playing both or did you just gave up soccer and stick with football? Oh, uh, I kept playing both. Uh, okay. I started I didn't play soccer in middle school because I really didn't want to play high school play high school mm -hmm. soccer, stuff like that. Middle school, that's the only type of team we had. So didn't want to play. So I had to find something else to do. So picked mm -hmm. up on football. That was pretty interesting route starting in middle school, coming up to high school. So, yeah, it was one of those guys in middle school who everybody looked over. I didn't want to quit. So they found something for me to do, which was kicking. So found it out being pretty something good I could do. So picked it up from there. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, what was the longest kick that you had uh, in that in that era? Well, middle school kicked it to the longest kick I had kicked it to the ten. It was against Hillcrest Middle School. Played against Josh. It was twins, Josh and Chris Simon. Played against those guys. It was always a big matchup for us in middle school. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, uh, when you started playing football. Uh, did you follow any teams at the time growing up? Who was your favorite team? And uh, which player Seahawks. did you, like, idolize or, or you like, you follow? Seahawks, man, Seahawks. 
Seahawks. Seahawks. Cool. All right. So you like NFC West team? That's your team. Yes, sir. Like like Russell Wilson. All right. Like mentality. Cool. Him and Russell Wilson. Right. My two favorite guy. Cool. So uh, talk about some. Go ahead, KJ. Yeah, I was going to ask him. What was the reason you wanted to be become a, a kicker or a punter? What was the reason, man? Behind that? Uh, really, in middle school, I was trying to be a receiver. They really work out for me, stuff like that. Wanted to do other stuff, and then ended up kicking. That was my last option because I played soccer. So it was really an easy transition for me to go from kicking soccer balls, kicking footballs. Yeah, it's kind of so. easy. All right, cool. For everybody that's watching, uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Spotify, and Deezer. Today's special guest, we have – uh, South Carolina State Bulldog, MIAC, Conference <laughs> Champion, Celebration Bowl Champion, and National Champion, HBCU National Champion, uh, Kicker Punter, Dyson Roberts from South, Sumter, South Carolina. So uh, talk about uh, playing football at Sumter High School, man. Um, who was your coach? And talk about the atmosphere going in there your freshman year. Uh, my head coach was Coach Barnes. I uh, picked up playing soccer my sophomore year. Um, he asked me to come out, come give it a try. I come, came and gave it a try and started playing varsity my 10th grade year, started at punter. And then my 11th grade year, I picked up both jobs with kicking field goals and punting. And it turned out very well for me my junior year. And then senior year, we had a little rough season at the end. My numbers dropped at the end, but still found some hope playing for South Carolina State and pretty much built my confidence up from there playing playing at South Carolina State. Okay, cool. cool. What was your longest field goal in high school? Can you repeat that, please? What was your longest field goal in high school? Oh, uh, 49. 49? All right. Yes, All right. That's good. That's real good. That's good, man. So um, in high school, who are you guys rival in, in something? Uh, we really had small county rivals. We had Crestwood, Lakewood, and we always wanted to play against the best. We always tried to play against Dutch Fort. That was our biggest. That was our biggest team we wanted to play against. We never got the chance to play against them. Unfortunately, they canceled our our game. Only game that we had against them. So never okay. got the chance to see that. Yeah. Were there any other players on Sumter High School team that followed you and went to South Carolina State? Uh no sir not for something to hop but we have um guy from Crestwood named Gavin Jeremy he's our kicker and a guy named Aaron Smith from Manning they both came along with me so doing that thing too so your, your time there did y'all make it to the playoffs or win any state championships uh we always made it to the second round of playoffs always lost in the second round so we never made it past that. Mm. Okay, cool. All right. So, how was your soccer season in your sophomore year? Soccer season, my sophomore year, it was very fun, actually. Um, I got to develop under some pretty good guys and ended up getting to start a roll towards the middle of the season, became a big part of the team, started scoring goals, having fun with the guys, earned my spot on the team. That was a very great journey and learning experience for me. All right, cool, cool. So um, let me ask you, um, before a game and you, you're in the locker room, what's your favorite music to listen to before you go out on the field? Uh, I like to listen to all type of people. I like to listen to all type of music. It depends upon how I feel. Uh, most of the time, Young Boy, uh, Big 30, Pusheisty, stuff like that get me am animated, turned up in the game, stuff like that. Okay. I can see that you're a different person on, on camera, off the field and on the field, I guess, just like Kobe. That that light turn on, that switch turn on when you guys on the field, you light up and you actually just crunk. So uh, talk about the atmosphere at South Carolina State. Um, talk about the teammates and the camaraderie. You guys seem like you're pretty close. Uh, yeah, we we pretty knit on the field, guys. We handle business on the field. We like to have fun off the field. So we do our job on the field, handle business, and make sure everybody's locked in. We don't take nothing less than greatness at South Carolina State. So. So we do what we got to do, and then have fun later. And then when we get on the field, man, different type of dogs out there, man. For uh, real. Yep. <laughs> All right. So 
Go ahead, KJ. Did you get any other offers other than South Carolina State before you chose to go there? Uh, I had interest, but South Carolina State was where I felt best to be at. So it's where I went to, talked to a lot of guys here before I came, and pretty much convinced me to come. So that's where I ended up coming to and up being a great decision for me so far. That's right. right. For real. So who was the first player that embraced you when you got to state? Who was the person that told, showed you around? Um, I had a tour of Kobe Durant. He actually was my tour guy. He led me around, taught me about South Carolina State, stuff like that. I ran into a couple of guys. I already knew some guys because we played 707 over the summer and stuff like that. Okay. And I met them. So it kind of I already knew the guys, kind of was familiar with them. So I already felt close with them boys. So I came, committed already there. So. Yeah. Hey, what coach recruited you to go to South Carolina State? What coach? Uh, Darren Wilson. He's at Kansas now. So at Kansas, okay, all right. Okay, cool. So I know uh, South Carolina State has a rich tradition and heritage in um, HBCU football. Uh, talk about that atmosphere and playing in a um, you know a locker room in a stadium full of Hall of Famers like you know Harry Carson, uh, Donnie Shell. Uh, they just got in the Hall of Fame this year. Um, and plenty more, you know? No, um, it's a lot of great to come out of South Carolina State. It's a lot of rich culture, HBCU culture. I really didn't get into the culture until I learned, until I got my offer from South Carolina State, actually. Um, learning about it is very fun, very great learning experience. Learn about your own kind, learn about what we've been through, going through HBCUs, stuff like that, being looked down upon. But HBCUs on the come up, so about to be a powerhouse sooner or later. All right. Yes, Tell Buddy Pew to bring those recruits in next year. Let's get a repeat, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yep, yep. So um, this year was your first year at uh, South Carolina State, correct, on the field? Uh, we played last year, but it really didn't count. It was a COVID year. Oh, yeah. So it's my spring game? It really is. Yeah. yeah, we played in spring. So this year is my full first full season. So I had a little bit of taste of it in spring. So it's kind of easy transition for the full season. Yeah. Wow. All right. So um, talk about playing in the MEAC. Some of the teams that you guys face. Um, I know like Hampton, um, Howard. Um, you guys had uh, you know uh, other teams in that conference that you know pretty much give you you know a little competition every year. So talk about the competition in MEAC. Um and versus the swag real quick. <laughs> uh the MEAC and the swag, it's both football teams respect they're both respective opponents and we all prepare the same way we do for any other game. Just get ready to play, have a business and win. It's the main goal. So mm. treat everybody the same. Everybody gets the same respect and we come in with the same mindset to win. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Hey, talk about getting the opportunity to play for Coach Buddy Pugh, man. What 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 is it like being around that guy? Can you repeat that, please? Yeah, uh, yeah. Talk about talk about getting the opportunity. Talk about getting the opportunity uh, for playing for Coach Buddy Pugh. Uh, being around Coach Pugh, man, it's funny, man. It's great. He's a different. He's a different type of guy. Um, he's a great man. You got to be a legend. Got to be legend. Coach playing against him, playing for a legend. You got to be legendary status. So that's what I'm trying to get to. That's right. Yep. Yep. So uh, I know that South Carolina State has won like 18 MEAC championships, um, probably like four or five national championships. Um, you guys went down to Atlanta, um, played against Jackson State recently. Um, before you guys did that, you had one quest, and that was to, um, you know, conquer the MEAC. Uh, talk about your MEAC championship game and, uh, you know, when y'all clinch, how did that feel, your first time being on the field and your first time being on the, um, you know, in a college level? It felt surreal, honestly. I didn't really get that feeling. Like, we won until we got off the bus. I was still in excitement. We was, that was the happiest moment of my life, one, honestly, one of them. One of my first ring, football ring, so. Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. So you guys um, got ready for the um, Celebration Bowl, um, your first bowl visit. Um, just like I said, you're a freshman. Talk about um, that preparation um, going into that game and what was the atmosphere with the teammates and the coaches? Um, 
really we we came into this game being prepared more mentally because we had to go through people talking down on us, people saying things about us that yeah, we you know we always used to be an underdog. So we came in, you know, about to let the fact that we playing against Dion, we playing against B1 recruits, power five recruits, phase mm-hmm. us. We just go do any other play, any other team, just beat them just like any other team. So right, man. Yeah, I did go. Yep. So who who's the most animated person on the Bulldog team? Mm. I like to get at I like to get at right myself, now. <laughs> but uh BJ Davis linebacker, he's one of the that the boy that boy right that's different. That's an okay. <laughs> he he the turn up king in the locker room, get everybody ready before you before the game. Him, Zach, Zach Frost, we listen to his songs, we listen to his music sometimes in the locker room for a good as turn. Everybody, man, we just we all getting that vibe. We all just different. We all want to court. We all having fun. We just have some fun, man. Sure. All right, cool. Well, we're going to take a um, look at some clips real quick. I got some, uh, you know, clips before the game started. And I'll just show you the culture of HBCU football in South Carolina State. And you guys um, basically just taking your tour around the field, I guess, before you uh, talk to the press and you check in your locker room, all right? Let's go yes, ahead sir. and check out that um, film. For everybody that's watching, please hit that subscribe button on YouTube and make sure you hit the notification button. Uh, we have today's special guest, uh, MIAC champion, Celebration Bowl champion, and HBCU uh, national champion, uh, South Carolina State Bulldog kicker and punter Dyson Roberts, all right? All right let's go ahead and get into this uh, clip and uh, we'll be right back. Just stay there with us, Dyson. <laughs> What it feel like first time? Boy, something serious. Like you're wicked in here. Like real wicked. Come on, man. We here. We clear, baby. Big Bulldog. Hey, man. Tune in tomorrow, man. We going up. For real. 12 o'clock. Hey, Shaq, what it feel like out here? Great. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's hard. Hands on? Your office. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> know that. It's a great feeling, man. It's a great feeling, but we sold this out. I'm gonna be back here on Sunday. Little boys in the Mercedes. Big with. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, this is what it feel like. You know it. We here, man. It's time to get to work. We here. You've been playing football your whole life to get to come and play in a place like this, man. What, what's it feel like to you? What's it mean? Oh yeah, a lot, man. Especially me being the senior. So, yeah. And in, our, and in on this environment right here, God bring it for real. Hey, man. We belong here. This ain't new. We got to do what we do. Play ball out here. Do it tomorrow. Low the tempo we came out with today, right? Business life. Wasn't a whole lot said. We went through our indie tempo, everybody was on the same page. I think we're prepared, we've been working for this moment. Ain't nothing to do now but to go get it. You understand? Sure. Somebody break it down. Hey man, we're gonna break this down on pride, man. Pride on three, pride on three, one, two, three. Y'all, it's game day. When the band is what you hear and everybody here is cheering, all your worries disappearing, y'all, it's game day. Whether televised or streaming live in person while you're screaming, no more waiting, no more dreaming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're back. 
So That's talk good. about uh, going into an NFL stadium for the first time. Uh, you're a freshman. You walk in there. You know, Mercedes Benz Dome, one of the newest stadiums in the NFL. And right. uh, you guys are playing against Jackson State. The guy that built the uh, stadium is coaching the team, Deion Sanders. He has both of his sons on the field. And I know they're talking trash before the game started. So uh, just talk about that atmosphere a little bit. And you guys being counted out, um, you know, I guess Jackson State was the favorites and you guys were the underdogs. But just talk about the atmosphere, getting off the bus, walking into the Mercedes uh, uh, Benz Dome. Uh, when we first walked out, before we, we was warming up, we had a walkthrough. Um, and I walked out there. I felt like a kid running out for recess, man. That It felt so good being out there. But end of the day, we had to handle business. So once the once the first kickoff came, locked in, ready to go. So to like any yes, other sir. game, another chance to put your name out there. So Yeah, all right, all right. Hey, what was y'all thinking, man, when Jackson State scored the first touchdown, man? How was it? What was y'all? Man? Zero, zero. We just get our feet wet. That's it. We just getting our feet wet. So, so it wasn't nobody scared or nothing. Everybody, we was still good. No, we was good. We, we knew we had a mission. We knew we had a goal. And we wasn't about to go out sad. That's right, man. That situation. So, yeah. But <laughs> I got some more highlights. Uh, you in the game. Uh, kicking the ball, you know, doing your thing. Yeah. Um, it's, it's very different that on um, the way I see you kick. Um, I've never seen anybody kick like that before. It's <laughs> almost like a fake kick every time you get the ball. They don't know whether to, you know, it jump and no block problem. or wait to see if you're going to run. I don't okay. know what to do. As a defender, I wouldn't know what to do. You know, that's something different, man. Like, yeah. who taught you that? Like, was that design or that's just you? Uh. We went in the game plan. My coach, my special teams coach, Coach Berg, Coach Pugh, who was hit me in the head all week. He's a he's an All American special team returner. He's an All American punt returner. He's a league bound punt returner. So in my head, I was like, I gotta give my give my special teams unit time to get to him. So they gave us a call. Not gonna say the call, of course, but they gave us a call to run. And so we ran the run, ran the play, and I thought I had an opening. So I took it and then the opening closed up real quick. And so I just, we got it off and ended up being a good strategy I used because it gave my team time to get down there to throw the special team to run off his game. So had a pretty great game right there. Special team unit right there. Held it down. Great snaps by Caleb. So couldn't do it without him either. So, yeah. So for those that's watching, a lot of people don't understand the punting game is so important in field position in football. So yeah. him pinning the other team in their territory, giving the defense a chance to respond or make a turnover is really big in key situations and in championship and clutch games. So uh, congratulations to you for having a strategy and a game plan and executing. We can go right. ahead and look at some of these highlights, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. So into punt. Once again, Dyson Roberts. Oh, he's going to fake it. Looked like he was and kicked it nice as kick. he approached the line of scrimmage. <laughs> oh, my Lord. He airmailed it. It's going to roll all the way oh. into the end zone. Dyson Roberts, who made a nice <laughs> tackle. I'll tell you what, he might be their MVP so far. Made that big tackle on the punt return. And yeah. watch this. He said, oh, I'm going to run it, going to run it. Nope, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to punt it. <laughs> when and we... And boy, oh boy, did he punt that. Was that like the fake? We saw the fake slide. Was that yeah. like the fake punt? <laughs> like, I'm going to punt and try to initiate a flag. Dang, dang, yes, sir. Know. Yes, sir. <laughs> so they was giving you the MVP nod in the first half that you kept pinning them down in the end zone. You was doing it, and you know, with, with swag. And that's what the commentators were saying. And you was doing it with, like, with ease. So um, I know that, that was a big part of y'all coming back in the second half. Just talk about that locker room um, in halftime. What, what was Coach Buddy Pugh like in halftime? Uh, I, I wasn't in there whenever Coach Pugh was talking during halftime. We was out there getting loose, getting ready back for the second half. But I already know what Coach Pugh would say. Uh, it's not over yet. Keep doing your job. Keep handling business. That's right. And that's what we did. So great team win. Great team effort on both sides of the ball. Offense, defense, special team did their thing. So yeah, for real, man. Yeah. Cool. Did you have a good Christmas? 
<laughs> yes, sir. I had time chance to see my family, spend time with my family, so it couldn't be better. Well, everybody than that. was waiting to see you. <laughs> yes, sir. You got all the presents. You got everything you wanted for Christmas. Uh, yes, sir. I got everything I wanted. Yes, sir. Man, I know good. you got some nice jewelry. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> got you yeah, a bowl ring your first year in college, a national champion at that. And you played a big part in it, man. Congratulations for uh coming to South Carolina State and uh you know uh, playing it, playing your hardest and giving it your all and mm-hmm. having some pride that bulldog pride on the sidelines whenever you're not in the game. That's 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 big and that's key to keeping your teammates um morale up, you know, when you guys are down or wh- if, whether you're up or not. Um, it shows a lot of leadership on your side. So uh, talk about um, moving forward to next season. Are you going to get some more roles at kicking and punting or playing another position? I see you out there trying to tackle people. So you might be going to corner since Kobe leave. Uh, yeah, Kobe leaving them, uh, this year. Yeah, I'm going to let my boys handle that. I'm going to let my other boys handle that, man. <laughs> I, just, I just plan on coming back to the season more mature, more mental. More, it's more mental game this year. I'm trying to solidify my spot as one of the best in the game. So, trying to come in, being a good leader, being a good role model, not doing anything off the field that can mess me up on the field. So, yeah, there you go, man. Well, we like to have you back on the show sometimes, man. You got a level head, very humble. Congratulations. Um, just keep up the good work. Is there any message you would like to give the youth um, behind you? Uh, if I can do it, anybody can do it, really. Uh, <laughs> from from a guy who really had never had much to say, never could say much, it don't matter. Keep talking, do your thing. Don't back down from anybody. Don't be scared from nobody. Keep doing your thing. Work hard. Be dedicated. Keep God first, and you'll make it anywhere in life. That's right, man. Hey, so, uh, hey, any shout-outs for any uh, family member, coaches, players, before we head out? Uh, I just want to shout out everybody who's been there for me through this whole journey. I don't want to say no names. I feel like I'll miss somebody. I just appreciate everybody who's been there. Uh, biggest, my mom, my nana, those are the best main two. So I just want to appreciate everybody. Yeah, I see you. Right. Stay humble right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> Tiffany Davis say stay humble. Leon Stevenson said, congratulations, nephew. Appreciate it. Oh, oh, my former kicker, my former punter, man, Dwayne Amica said, yes, sir. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. Marion Dennis said, congratulations. Keep up the good work. I um, appreciate it. Yep. Hey, hey, got hey, a lot of fans. Congratulations from KJ. Trinity Streeter, congratulations, <laughs> Dyson. So proud of you. Uh, Keith Pinckney, SCSU. Uh, got a lot of people that's rooting for you, man. Just stay right. humble and stay on that path. We enjoyed you on the show today. Um, for those of you that have been watching, just go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification button on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, Spotify, and Deezer. Uh, we'd like to thank today's special guest, uh, South Carolina State Bulldog, MIAC champion, Celebration right. Bowl champion, and HBCU national champion. First yeah. year, freshman, kicker, slash punter. <laughs> From something South Carolina, Dyson Roberts. Thanks Good for luck having me. In the future, man. Awesome. Bless. On your next semester and stay healthy and keep your head up, man. Keep God hey, first. Hey, all right. Hey, let's go for 85 yarder next year, man. 85. 85 yarder. Yes, that's a goal. That's a goal. Every time I get better. All right. There yes, we go. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. For you guys that's just watching, you know, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Make sure right. you guys wear a mask <laughs> and stay safe. And enjoy your New Year's, all right? Until next time, peace. Peace. Peace.